This is public testimony at the Smith County, Texas Commissioner's Court regarding uh, Constitution violations of their COVID containment plans. This speaker is Richard Blake. Mr. Blake? Yes. Yes, you're on with the Smith County Commissioner's Court for public comment. Uh, I want to remind you that you have three minutes to speak and that the rules of decorum uh, do apply. Your three minutes begins now. Good morning, Commissioners and Judge. I'm calling to urge the court to take the lead in allowing businesses to reopen and let people get back to work. I understand these are trying and stressful times, which is why it's important for you to make life-altering decisions based on common sense, reliable facts from sources without a hidden profit or political agenda, and after a thorough consideration of potential unintended consequences. Just give people the facts. Don't react to predictive computer models that are often based on flawed input. There is empirical evidence that shows the overwhelming majority of people do not have a significant risk of dying from COVID-19, about 0.1 to 0.2 percent, while the arguably corrupt World Health Organization said it was 3 to 4 percent. 3.4 percent, which is 20 to 30 times higher than actual. We know that herd immunity is prevented by isolation policies. We also know there's a clearly defined risk group that can be protected with targeted measures. Here's the virus facts for Smith County. As of yesterday, 139 cases have been confirmed. Of that, there's been three related deaths, which is 0.0. 0.001% of our population here in Smith County. Ironically, we see these low numbers here in Smith County, even with wide variations in the protections being implemented by businesses that have allowed to stay open. Random use of gloves and masks, hand sanitizer and wipes, not all. <laughs> So that is uh, Richard Blake, and he's speaking on uh, the Constitution being violated during a, an emergency, and he cites 42 U.S. Code 1983. 